Hello, it's Lexus and Melinda here today and we're going to do some more uh, jelly printing. This is a talking video so it's not going to be sped up. It's going to be in real time. Yes, we thought we'd experiment some more with yep. these. We got these things from Daiso you might have seen in a haul video. And we're going to do a jelly print video and we might, we will do a flick through of the best ones in a later video. So now I'm Is there anything left for me to say? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I'm oh. going to do a rainbow one here. So I'm just going to do a big blob of red. And then I'm going to do orange, yellow, green, blue. Okay, while Lex is doing that, in the last video I used this strip that I cut off and... You can see it's painy and it's new because we're doing them in a row. Did four lots like this across and it was really nice. So what I've decided to do is actually cut this bit out here as a strip. I've... Hey, you're getting in my red. I did just was. I just if you gone any further, you would have. Okay. Keep your distance. So I've already got, this was a huge long rectangle placemat, so I've already got this design which I was playing with in the last video. Sorry, it's upside down. Um, if I do it We're this not going to flip this video. I'll do it this way. Um, so it's By like an archway. Way. So uh, if you're wondering, we're not going to flip it. So this is extra, so I thought huh? I would cut. Yes, we're not going to flip this video because this is filmed right upside down. Usually we film, when we film on our desk, we film upside down and we have to flip the And it's the easier to flip it. Can I just yes. take it out because I think I might have to do it like the green. Yeah. Even though it's really annoying. So I'm just trying to get the height of this. Uh, we've also, um, we're going to use some of Mum's old paints. And in the last video we used uh, one paint. We did. So all the paints we're using are just cheap acrylic paints, like 2 or $3. Or other, you know, like acrylic, you know, the, if your mum's people, if you're crafty people, you would know what I'm talking about. Like all the different paints, acrylic, uh... Other paints, just tapping on the shoulder. Yes, so we're only using acrylic <laughs> paints, but there's other ones. Um, so these are just really cheap kids' acrylic paints. Mom. Yes. Sorry, our dishwasher is done. Our dishwasher is saying, How Alexis, please off? empty me. Hang on. I'll turn the power off. There we yeah. go. And so, we had it going in the last video, but now it's off. Yes, we had to do our dishes so we could use our Sorry? kitchen bench. Yeah. Okay, so I think I've got this strip cut out that I'm going to use, these roses, and I've left this bit on here. You can't get that one out? No. It's got paint in it. <laughs> oh, Mum, I don't put it down there. Well, you get your finger and you squish it to where you want it. I still have, need to yeah. have room for my green. Got yellow on. Here, try to have that one's the one. Upside down. Leave them. Upside down if you Is that one here? Good old coffee cups are good to stick the paints upside down when you need to get the last little bit out of them. Yeah, we. Mum doesn't drink coffee, but she uses it hard. Coffee cups come in handy. They don't fall over. You put it in a glass and it goes Look. flat. It's Dad's original coffee cup. I bet that's going to smell of paint. Coffee now. Probably will smell of coffee. Oh, Lexus is smell working on some coffee rainbows. already! Ew. My, Dad uses that cup the most, I think. Some of these are really I old paints. I can name that ten times when I've seen him use it. Yes. Oh, did we put our timer on? No, we didn't. No. We did that last video. We put a timer on for 20 or 25 minutes because that's mum's usual watch time. We didn't want to make it an hour and do it real time. The other one we did an hour, you might have seen, but it was four times sped up. So some people commented that they couldn't see the prints real well because our hands were moving like this. <laughs> yes. So we decided to do a flick through of the best pictures and images. And I think we'll do that with this video, right mum? Yes, maybe mummy will just stand here and be quiet and Alexis can do all the talking for the video. Okay. What? Yes. Once I was at a show and every, I was teaching, she was having a class, I was teaching uh, two people and she was only teaching one. Isn't that right? Yes, Alexis, it's very good. Yeah, and I was teaching two while she taught one. Some wanted to use one thing, one person wanted to do, use one thing, and one person wanted to do the other. And one, and mum was just teaching one individual person, which was a pain. No, not really, because I'm good at craft. 
I learn off you. You do. Oh, I got the funny roller. Like, I got the roller that doesn't want to roll very well. I'm going to sort of make a slide effect as you saw at right at the start I was doing it across ways. Now I'm just going to break it down. Interesting, Alexis. And okay. you see the gum cop paint it has here. I'm just like stamping at the edges. Down here. And up here. So I'm just gently pressing this plastic. Um, and I'm also going to do it around the sides. Now you can talk, Mum. Plastic tablecloth. And I just stuck my finger in your paint. Um, plastic tablecloth <laughs> into the paint. It does. The plastic tablecloths have a, sort of a right and a wrong side. They have a flat side and a bumpy side. So you want to use the bumpy yeah. side. Yeah. And also that's with uh, that. This. And there's a right side and a wrong side. Shiny goes off that with baking paper. It doesn't really matter. No, this is... Um, if you use baking paper, uh, it, you can put it on any side, but this paper, it's shiny side up. Isn't that right, Mummy? Yes, that's right, Alexis. So this I think I'll take over your channel one day. You might take over my channel. That means I can have a rest and you can do all my videos. Yay! So this is you just... You might be seeing a lot more of me. <laughs> don't make mud. Take a print. Oh, don't put... What are you going to... Well, that's sort okay. of one. I was trying to get my... Oh, no, look. You can still see the colours. I've just taken the colours that Alexis hey, is using and run it on the paper. Here. Now I'm going to do a print, which I hope turns out good. So this is the closest I've found in daily paper in Australia. It's actually from Woolworths. So it's called Grease Proof Paper. Grease Proof Paper. It's Woolworths brand. It has a shiny and a flat side. Just going to make sure cool. it on the flat side. Cool. We can't see anything. What's cool, Alexis? This. Well, uh, you know, there's already purple on this. Yes. And as you know, I didn't did the stripes. Well, uh -huh. look what it looks uh -huh. like uh -huh. now. Cool, Alexis. I think I did. Yeah, I, I did it sideways a bit. Okay. What about I this one? This is another, another roll off print. paper. Do you want to put that one on top? I think roll-up paper goes well with this type of print. So we're using a lot of Alexis' old colouring books she's grown out of as just our yeah. um, Or drawing books, like this one at the back. Oh, that's pretty. I think I could get one more print out of that, Mum. Okay, let's do it on a bit of white paper. Yeah, white paper. Oh, I'm doing what I did last time. I'm going to have prints all over the kitchen table. Oh, there's that one you You should do. hang them up. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Maybe this time don't mix the colours so much. See if you can see that leave the colours a bit more of a rainbow. Alexa's been playing with rainbows today. I want to do an aqua background and then I want to do this. These two. Have you got white? Okay. Oh, no, aqua and white. You want white? Well, I'm looking for aqua white. Aqua and white. That's heavy blue. This one I want to do like a whole background and line it up. If you know what I mean. This is white. We can both use this. I think this is nearly the last of this, Mum. That's nearly the last of that one. I might need to use a different paint as well as some of this. Because we have to have quite a lot. Do you think that's enough or a bit more? And I might put a bit of blue in here and see if I get patches of purple. This one doesn't work on that either. Do you want me to give that one a squeeze or are you right? Can you give it a squeeze? I think I need a bit more. I might put a bit... Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, we have used up an aqua paint. Whoops. Haven't we, Mum? That's probably enough for your background. We have. Yeah. We've used up an aqua paint. We used up an olive last time. We did. These are little Josonia samples that I picked up really cheap quite a few years ago. We've used. got rid of two paints today. Let's see if we can get rid of more. Lexus wants to use up my paints because I said we're not going to buy any more paint colours till we use up some. And it, if in we the get, uh, can we buy it until we get down a quarter or half the bucket of what it is now? Well, when we don't, when we have boring colours left, we might yeah, get some more. Yeah, because we use the, all the exciting colours usually. Cool, it's like a sea background. Oh, sorry, I accidentally got a bit on yours. <gasps> you put blue on my. Uh, I was trying to make pink and purpley colour, but yeah, I think I've got too much Yeah, you've got a bit of purple red. there. 
I think I'll put too much red down. We'll see what this happens. Got a tinsy bit of purple. I tend to like to Mom, work... Mom, you can see that it's sort of oceany colour. It Mom, is. Mom, I think I might... Not... Uh, where, where's your pad of colouring books you have there? Because I think I might need it. I've only like got a few pages over. Okay, okay. Look, this is like aqua sea. It is. What are you going to do on top of that aqua sea? I know. This, so this is just copy paper or photocopy paper that I'm using now. Oh, I need a stencil for print. that. I think I've got. Can I much. have the catalogs? Catalyst. Close. It's, it's a funny thing, like a comb. It is. We could actually use a plastic comb on it, but we don't own any comb. So this one's actually got a bit too much paint on it. But I tend to like the second print off and when I using these to plastic. Put the edge of that. Yeah. Well, right there's a good plot. And I need another. Yeah. Yeah, can you wipe it off? Because I want to use the side. We can actually use cones on it. We'll have to have a look at the cheap shops when we go out to look for some cones. We don't use cones in this house. Yeah, not usually. So this one's quite nice too. What else am I going to do? Oh, let's get rid of some of your boots over here, Alexis. Yeah. So I've got a bit more workspace. And at the edge. Oh, that's pretty. Small edge. Okay. What I might do is this is the thinner placemat that I bought, and this is the circle I cut out of the middle of it, or oval circle. So I might have mommy, to play with mommy, that. Mommy, yes. Mommy. I think I did a bit too much paint. Look. That's right. Take a second print. Oh, that, Ooh. Ooh, that looks really nice. That's pretty. Another print, another print. Another piece of paper. I want to put my white on top. Oh, okay. First. Yeah. yeah, or take another print, then you can put white on the dregs of it. Okay, you still got some on. Oh, that's pretty too. These would look nice with another print over the top, with a darker colour over the top, Alexis, with a stencil, so some of that shows through. And... Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can use the white. It's a bit Thanks to me, <laughs> I might use some of the white and a bit of red makes it pink. Whoops. Where's the other roller? I can't see if I'm looking. Oh, I stuck my fingers in it. Look, I get very messy when I print. And look, show your hands, Alexis. Tinty tiny she bit messy. Get messy. No, only get a tinty, tinty tiny, tiny bit. bit messy. Yes, I tend to get very messy. Mum, because she's creative. Uh, could I do that on yours to roll my roller? Hang on, I'll do that in a bit of paper in a minute. That Look at the white roller. <laughs> if it's a event here, it's almost camouflaged. What are you going to do on that print? these old papers to roll off and we only roll off a couple of times and then this is nice to stamp over or to sometimes we, we print, might need more paper look print over the top of it oh there's a fair bit there still so these thin placemats have sort of a back and a front side so there's a flat side and a bumpy side so I'm gonna put oh, the well, I was gonna print over the other thing now I bet it's just gonna be white put the bumpy side down mum mum Yes. I lifted it up so it's going to be the three crinkles, but lift it up and show them. Oh, that's pretty. We could get another print out of that. You've actually you know? got a bit of red. And, yes, yeah, you can. Yeah, from the oil brush, the sides. The sides. I, I don't ever clean my jelly prints. See, look, the sides. Sides, yes. I got it from the sides. We don't ever clean our jelly prints or our rollers with soap or water because we like the crusty bits. Yeah. And see how this one's got a bit of red in it. Yeah, and I did not use red. I, t I repeat, I do not, did not use red. I repeat. Oh, can I use the background colour for yellowy green? I like background colours with things over the top. Okay, maybe do yellowy green no, over... No, I want one so some uh, stencil shows through. With yellowy green over this one? Mm. Yep. Mm. What sort of stencil are you going to use? 
That's why I've got this down here. I'm going to use the rolling, uh, the tire one, the foam one. You can see it in the gap. Okay. And I'm just going to press this. Is this going to be a full one? A full what? Like all around. Yes. I think this one's done for. That paint might be done for Can too. you please yes. just try yes. and squeeze the last of it out? So I'm just pressing this textured side down all mm. over into the and paint. see, I've only got a little bit on here because this yellow green I think has almost run out. So this is actually run out. So this is our third paint we've distributed for the day. A third paint we've what? What was that word? Distributed. Distributed? Ooh, or I was going to say used up. That one's pretty. Hang on, let me just take... It's uh, the three we used didn't have much paint left in them. No. Can you please get the last of it out? Whereas, I think I might need to use this screen. There we go, that'll be enough. Yeah, that'll be enough. So it's the third paint with. Yay! We the third, third paint's paint. hit the dust. What am I doing? What am I looking for? The third paint's are in the bin now. Oh, sorry. If you hear a lot of claiming, that's just my mum. Love how it looks at banging against the uh, fridge or cupboard. I mean washing machine or cupboard. Now I need a ruler. Yes. And you're supposed to do it that way, Mum. Oh, Mum does it with so it's the roller side up. But these are there's little red yellow things on the end. She does it like that way. Not this way. Yes, Mum put the roller upside down so Mum has to clean the table later, but that's okay. Yeah, look. So this is still got a heap of paint on it, this plastic thing. So we're going to pop it down here. And I'll bring it on top of the jelly plate. Press it down. See if we can get some paint onto our print. That's a lovely green. I like that green. Noise. I think I'm going to need a bit more. I Ooh, think I just have enough. Look, look. It just covers it. Yes. And you can choose a stencil. I, I don't mind. I thought so you were getting the round That thing. one. That one. No. Oh, okay. There. Brayer. What I might do is actually, I wonder if that would work. Here. Hang on, no. <laughs> Looks nice. Well, I'm going to do that. Do well, I was going to roll this green paint over the top of there and see if... That. The and then if you do that. Go back to your own jelly plate. <laughs> there you go. I need the Oh. Uh, can I step over that one? Yeah, you can stand. Um, hang on. What we might do, Alexis, I stand is, you. can I have a go? No. Okay. Well, I was going to say, scrape some more lines, make some more holes in this, and then that red will show through. Mm. So, should be able to scrape the paint completely off with that. I don't know. I haven't tried with that before. If you do it hard enough, you can sort of get it off. Just do it land anywhere. I won't land everywhere on that. By the way, look, I'm getting more messier. Yeah. But not as messy as mummy. Oh, no, the paint might be a bit dry. Mm. Can I do it? Yeah, now? do that. See what happens. That's what I struggle with putting. Just the luck of the draw. I struggle with putting two or three layers on top because then it just looks like mud. We're gonna make yeah. the first prints, aren't we, Alexis? What did that do? No. See, we didn't get enough of the paint, so the second layer can come through. This one... I'm going to use another colour for a background one. I like okay. background ones. Can I put something on top of this one, Alexis? Yeah. This one, I'm going to line up on top of here because there's lots of white space. And we should see the green over the top and the blue still showing. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that, Alexis. Isn't that pretty? Alexis. Yes, that's very pretty. That's, and there's a bit more here, so what we'll do is just get another bit of paint. Paper right over the top. Probably like that. Didn't get much with that. As if, I think our paint actually dried on this. Let me put some white over it. This, there's two. That one's turquoise iridescent. Yeah, those two. That'll just make it like metallic. Can I just yeah. put some white paint on here? Yeah, to get it off. And because we've got dry green paint, oh, I picked up the silly roller. Yeah. The roller that doesn't roll very good. And look, it's got red on it from the sides. From the roller, okay. And now... Print, print, print! Yes, yes, yes. This, this, this! One. Yeah, I'll do 
you that one second. I'll get some of this off. This hopefully should pick up the greens. No, we got red. <laughs> Let me try this one. Oh, this one's, one's double sided. So of. you can't really see that That's either. That's the best we can get. Back to the drawing board with that one. This is... Which one do I add first, Sapphire or that one? Uh -uh. Any? Sapphire, yeah, any. That one is sort of just metallic that will mix in with the blue. Do well, I got... have to do a lot of this? Put a bit more of the metallic. Uh, that little... one? Oh, that's plenty. And a little bit okay. of that and it will make it metallic. Just trying to find a bit of paper. Can I pick you some paint and I'm going to make beautiful pictures with lots of paint. Oh, this roller is... Why do they call it a roller when it doesn't roll? Oops. Ah, uh, that's plenty. It that's, came out at once. That's okay. There we go, there's your roller. Ooh, I like these colours together. I'm gonna use I'm gonna make lots of different prints with these. Oh my god, the silly roller. That's alright. Oh yeah, look at the colour now. You can't quite see it in the camera. It looks like the aqua in the camera, Mum. Look. It does. That'll dry it. But um, it's actually here. sapphire. It's a deep sea blue. Sapphire. I'm going to see how these work oh, as... Oh, Mum, look in the camera. The camera is not actually the colour on the camera. It's actually a bit darker, isn't it? It is. I'm going to actually use that. I'm actually going to apply paint directly to this, the bumpy side of this tablecloth piece I cut off, the plastic tablecloth, see if I can use it as a stamp. So I'm going to stamp um, over. Can you can use those. Okay. They're sticking off a bit. I need a bit of paper. Use a bit of paper while I just slide my jelly print out of the way. Place out of the way. There. So what I've done to this it. is just added paint directly to the um, piece of plastic tablecloth on the bumpy side. Just pressing it on the paper. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Look. Mum, can you help me? You have to get right in the gaps of the holes. There's also a little bit of it down here. Okay, hang on. Let's have a look. You see, a bit too much paint. Yeah. The second print will probably look a bit better. I know, better. Because, because you... Yeah. Wait, wait. Down here. Yeah. Okay, take do that again, but that's plenty of ink there, a paint there, so we'll do that again. And then I got two pieces. So what I might do now, I've got this blue, is this is another piece of the border that I was using before. Just actually using my jelly plate as I've just taken it out of shot, but I'll bring it back a little. Um, yeah, she's actually taken it out. Just rolling like you would yeah, a jelly see, print. Yeah, you can only see half of it. Mine Using it like an ink pad, it. just rolling my paint out and then rolling it straight on. It might not be enough paint. Straight on top of the piece of plastic tablecloth and then just flattening down with my hand. Got to be careful to hold it because I have found it moves. That's probably enough, Alexis. Oh, that paint's dry. Yeah, good. Let's do that again. It's sticking. Oh, that's much better. I think, can I peel this off now? Yeah. See how there's not much paint here anymore? Let's see if we can do a second print on. Mum? Hmm. Where do I put these? Um, just up here. Another print. Yeah, do you I like... put that face down? Oops. <coughs> do you want to do that on top of that? So, so you can I line it up. I have to line it up. It didn't really work because my paint dried. What colour are we using? I'll just borrow a bit of this. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's about, yeah, tinsy, wincy bit off, but that doesn't really matter. Watch this, everyone. It actually looks like a square jelly print with the paper, paper on it, doesn't it, Mum? It does. Do you like to do the honours? I will do the honours. Hang on. I get the honour of pulling it's it up. It's awesome. Oh, it is too. Oh, look. Awesome. I made it. You 
can't quite see the white though in the camera. That's right. That's still got and lots on it. So let's stick that on something else. Oh, can we go back over the green? Yeah. Can we go over can. that? We'll see. Try and line it off. This is when I get into trouble. That's a tinsy bit off, by the way. Oh, wow. That is cool. It's a three layer pink print, print picture. It is a three layer print picture. That's Hard awesome. to say it. Three layer print picture. You can sort of do it. Yes. I'm going to use some oh, sapphire, but it's in two What's our timer say? I forgot about it. Three minutes twenty. That three just minutes. Click off. Is no, no, got, it clicked no, on. No, our camera. I heard something oh. before. Or has that got dot rec on the bottom? Wait. Can you see dot rec? I can't see that. Yeah, it's red. Okay. So we had a click, but it was actually the uh, iPad clicking on my foot. Uh, it's full of memory. Still got dot rec where my arm is. Okay. Oh, it's at the top there. Okay, usually it's down the bottom when I'm upside down yeah. recording. I can't see. So you're not used to seeing it. My blue paint is dried, so let's wax some white on it and see if we can't make a complete mess. Oh, yeah, the smelly one out. Like, it's hard to squeeze, but it's not nearly right. Oops, Mum, can you spread that? I think that's enough. Yeah, that'd be plenty. I really want, like, a line. I'll squeeze that off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always do too much. You squeeze a little too much paint, don't you? Here's my book of... Is a little? Here's my book of books. Now a tinsy, wincy bit of... The other one was very metallic wasn't it? It was. Because I did a bit too much of this. Because it all glued out. Oh, it's shiny. Where's my other... Yes, the iridescent is like just shiny colour. I've lost my other strippy thing. If you could see beyond my desk on the camera, so I'm actually going to do these in the middle. So just pressing these into the white paint, you get a fair bit of texture, which is nice. I'm just going to move this one. I'm actually wondering if I go over that with a roller whether I'd get a better impression. Let's try that with these two and we can compare it to the other side. Oh, this roller is not rolling. It keeps falling out. As you can see with the metallic, I've done it with my finger, Mum. Oh. My finger's shiny. Oh, it is very shiny. Okay. Because <laughs> I smoothed it with the iridescent. Let's have a look with... <laughs> This might be our final print on this video, Alexis, because we're up to about 20 One minutes. minute. I think I put 30 minutes on that one. Look. You've got paint on your finger. Okay, I'll just do this print oh. and then we'll come back and do some more. Pretty. Look, if you actually squash it onto your jelly plate with the roller, you get a bit better impression. So I'll take another print of that. Huh? Yes, actually I'm going to do that on that paper. Where'd my roll of paper go? I need a stencil quick. I'll do that. Ooh, so this is just grease proof like paper you. again. Who do you think has messy hands? Who do you think has messy hands? Let people decide. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> vote, in, vote in the comments who you think has messy hands. Alexis has messy hands. No, vote in the comments who you really don't. Mum or me? Mum, show your hand up. I reckon mum, don't you? Okay, last print Alexis and then Okay, we'll... I just have to finish up doing this, then we'll come back with some more jelly printing and maybe a flip crew. Oh, that's just our timer going off, so we'll just finish Sorry. what we're doing. Hang on, we'll... Bit of paper. Turn that off. Sorry about that. Oh, it turned off after it did. Oh, I'm doing glue on the back because it's there. I've got glue on my hands. You've got glue on your hands. Look, I can't quite see it right. Look, That's right. I'm the camera. Look, I'm glue It is. Do another print because that, what are you doing over that one? Oh, I can see your nose. Did I scratch my nose when we're off camera? Um. It's your nose, it's your nose, mommy. Who do you think has... Okay, that's it for today. Now, who has messy hands? Don't. Mum? 
She has. She has. She has missed She has. She has missed your hands. <laughs> she has. Okay. Only the comment you think has missed your hands. Well, bye. Well, bye for now. We'll see you again soon. Bye.